The various systems work together to make it simple to drive a Scania truck in the most efficient manner. The truck knows where it is thanks to onboard mapping and the GPS signal it receives, and it knows how long and steep all the hills are on your route. This information is all held in the Scania Communicator, an onboard control unit which also helps calculate the overall weight you're carrying and assists in cruise control operation. To get the most out of the technology, keep the gearbox in automatic AE mode and set an appropriate speed for the cruise control. If a retarder is fitted, you also set the maximum downhill speed and this can be anything from 3 to 15 km per hour above the cruise speed you've set. Let's say you set cruise to 50 miles an hour, that's about 80 kph. As the truck approaches a hill, the system assesses the vehicle speed and load and gets the truck up the hill using the minimum number of gear changes to avoid losing momentum. Now this means the engine speed may drop as low as 900 rpm. This is quite normal and it's known as lugging uphill. As you get near the crest of the hill, the system works out where it can back off the accelerator to let the truck coast over the top of the hill and save fuel. You will feel the truck slow down a little, but no more than 12%, so from 50 miles an hour, it'll only drop to about 44 miles an hour, and the truck will soon speed back up to 50 as it gathers momentum going down the hill. This is called active prediction, and when it's operating, you'll see this green E appear in the information display. So, when you feel the speed begin to drop, you'll see the green E light up to let you know the system is controlling the speed to save fuel. The communicator knows how long the downhill stretch is. And if it knows that you'll coast for more than a few seconds, the system engages eco roll, which puts the truck in neutral so that it'll roll further. You'll see the rev counter drop to idle speed for a few seconds, then rise to a normal speed when the system tells the truck to engage a gear again. If you have a retarder fitted, then on a long or steep downhill stretch, the system controls the speed by applying the retarder as necessary to keep the road speed under the maximum speed you've set. This is called downhill speed control. When the retarder is operating, you'll see this retarder symbol light up on the dash. Once you reach the bottom of the hill, the truck will continue onwards using normal cruise control, selecting the most economical gear and engine speed until you reach the next hill and active prediction goes into action again. This is how the truck works in the most economical AE mode. There are slight differences when you're in other automatic modes, and there's a comprehensive video on Scania OptiCruise performance modes in the additional information section of this app but do note you will need internet access to watch this video.